What is up, folks? Let's talk a little bit of Roadhouse. That is right, 2024. It's March 22nd today. Yesterday, you may have heard March 21st, Roadhouse, the new one on Amazon Prime, Jake Gyllenhaal, and the notorious one, Conor McGregor, hit the theatrical screen. Well, I guess your TV screen, if you want to call it that. But uh, Roadhouse hit Amazon Prime, and I, bright and early yesterday, when it dropped, I watched it, and uh, needless to say, I sort of liked it. So before further ado, why don't we just watch the trailer for the show, and then we'll head on over, check out a few reviews, and uh, talk the movie itself. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? Yeah, about like 25 minutes, I'd say. Uh, I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? So you like to fight? You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. This ain't the holiday end, pal. I am I'm moving. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need this. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, bro. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton, the fan man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this fountain. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then he'll haul off. Ah! Really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things done around here. Hey, fellas, looks like you're having a smashing night. Duncan, I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. Let me guess. You know, threaten me. Tell me to get out of town. I get the impression that you can't be threatened. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. Now that is what it is. Action-packed, that trailer gives away, no, obviously it doesn't give away the storyline and whatnot. It does definitely uh, have action. Now if you go into this thinking it's some like Oscar-worthy movie or you're expecting the moon, well, guess what? You're not going to get that. But if you go in there not expecting too much, uh, not expecting the original, because the original with Patrick Swayze was a cult classic, and uh, I went into this one thinking, okay, man, I'm going to hate this movie. I'm going to hate it. It's not going to live up to expectations. They're trying to redo Roadhouse. Why would they ever do that? Well, you know what? I actually liked it. And I hate that I liked it because it was actually pretty fun to watch. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal played a great character. Everyone else was rather dull until Conor McGregor came in about 58 minutes into the movie. Uh, throughout the first course of the movie i was wondering where the heck is this guy i thought conor mcgregor was a star in this and believe it or not conor mcgregor did a great job people out there are saying his acting skills are, are terrible worst out there i thought he did a pretty damn good job at what he's, he was there to do he was amped up he was like conor mcgregor times a thousand walking in there all puffy chested and all that kind of stuff i think he did a good job is it the original is it the patrick swayze roadhouse no, uh, but they did a 2024 version of this, and, and I, th I thought it was pretty good. Other than some dumb CGI effects, the fight scenes were fun. 
the movie itself was pretty damn good. The plot line had no like glaring holes to it. Uh, it dragged a little bit because it was just over two hours long. But other than that, it was a pretty damn good movie. So let's get to uh, IMDb and what it thinks of it. Over on IMDb, you can see not the greatest. I mean, it says it's an hour and 54 minutes. Uh, the runtime on uh, on Amazon Prime was just over two hours. I believe two hours and three minutes. Uh, and as it says, Critics Consensus Roadhouse updates a cult classic for a new generation happily replicating the original's emphasis on cheesy brawn over narrative brains. I will say it was cheesy, definitely, uh, and it that's what you get. An action-packed, fun movie where there's a bunch of brawls and a bunch of fights and a bunch of blood and whatnot. It was fun. Uh, Tomato Meter gave it 66%. The audience score was 61%. Uh, not the best, but also not the worst. It could have been a heck of a lot worse. Ben Folks, who uh, is an MMA journalist, posted on Twitter, I watched Roadhouse for what it is and what it's trying to be. It's not terrible. Conor McGregor is honestly an injection of energy in a movie where all the non-Gyllenhaal characters feel flat and boring. Way better than I expected from a fighter in his first role. However, and then he goes on to say a bunch of other stuff about CGI and all that kind of stuff, like I was saying myself. Also, I put out a uh, tweet on MMA Sucka, and uh, some responses were, this was as bad as it could have been. They put zero effort into it. And then Chris Santiago, who writes for us, gave it an 8 out of 10. So it's rather lopsided. I put out something on my own Twitter as well and got a response of CM meaning Conor McGregor, quite possibly gave the worst acting performance of any human in the history or film and television. Now, do I agree with that? Not necessarily, because I think he did a good job of what he needed to do with what they gave him to do. He Again, he was amped up. It was Conor McGregor times a thousand, times a million, and like he was, whoa! Walked into every scene like he was just running the show. And Conor McGregor made some serious dough off of this film. Did you like it? And that's all that really matters. Like, who cares what other people think? The reviews are out there. Again, 66% Rotten Tomato score, 61% audience score. I myself liked it. Yeah, I, I want you to let me know what you thought of the movie a day after it came out. If you uh, sat down on your couch and grabbed some popcorn and watched it. That does it for me on this Friday morning. As I always say, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will be putting out videos. This week, I had an interview with Jamie Siraj. Check that one out. He talked about not making The Ultimate Fighter, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't talk Roadhouse, but Jeremy Kennedy fights here in a little bit, and we talked about that. So let me know what you thought of Roadhouse. Make sure you click that like button, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell to know when I'm live and on here and have new videos coming out. Maybe we will do some lives at some point and you guys can get your comments up on the screen and all that other kind of jazz. Uh, Fraser Crone has the MMA Sucker podcast typically comes out on Mondays. My videos, again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like, subscribe. Because as I noticed, about 95% of people watching these videos are not subscribers. So click that subscribe button, folks. With that, enjoy your weekends. I will see you Monday.